Well, hi there. Welcome to the screencast for Topic 1. This is Physics and Physical Measurement. This is the first screencast for IB Physics. So welcome to IB Physics. Let's get started. What are we going to talk about in this screencast? Well, we'll talk about orders of magnitude, sizes, masses, and time. Estimating, something about units, and some comments on measuring. Let's start with scientific notation. So scientific notation, as you might know already, is just a way to express extremely large and small or small numbers. For example, the number of atoms here in 12 grams of carbon is approximately this, month, this many right here, which is 6 with like 23 zeros or so. We would write this in scientific notation as 6 times 10 to the 23rd. I might write it like this sometimes, just a shorthand notation. So please know this is not 6 to the 23rd power. This is 6 times 10 to the 23rd power. So this is just how many decimal places there are. The order of magnitude of something. Well, we can express this as a power of 10. So any kind of number just expressed as a power of 10. So if we take this uh, example we had of the number of atoms in 12 grams of carbon, right? It was 6 times 10 to the 23rd. How could we express that as a, a power of 10? Could you solve this for n? How would you get at that exponent there? Well, we need to use logarithms. And if we use logs, right, we would get n is 23.7. So we would say this is 24 orders of magnitude. Right, 6 times 10 to the 23rd is closer to 10 to the 24th than it is 10 to the 23rd. So let's practice some here. Let's find the order of magnitude of these values. If you want to pause your video and have a go at these, do so now. Okay, so 10 to the 18th, well, that one's kind of easy. The order of magnitude there for 10 to the 18th seconds is just 18. This one, 1 meter, the order of magnitude of 1, well, it's 10 to the 0. 4,000, well, you might be tempted to say 3, right? 3 orders of magnitude because, you know, 10 to the 3rd is 1,000. But, but if you take uh, 4,000, 10 to the 3.6 is about 4,000. So 3.6 is closer to 4. So we would say this is 4 orders of magnitude. 80,000, all right, it would be 5. 5 times 10 to the minus 10th, right? 5 is going to bring it up 1, so that's minus 9 negative 9 order of magnitude, and 14 billion years. How many years is that? It's 10 to the 10. So let's try a small order, small uh, number example here, the length of a virus. If it's this length, 2.3 times 10 to the minus 8 meters. All right, the nearest order of magnitude here would be, you know, 10 to the minus 8, or excuse me, it would be minus 8. If we're talking about size, what are some of the smallest objects we're going to be talking about in IB physics? Well, they're subatomic particles. For example, protons and neutrons. There's also electrons, but if we're talking about the order of magnitude of the radius of an atom uh, or a proton, that would be 10 to the minus 15th meters. The largest object we're ever going to talk about is the universe. The universe has got a size of about 10 to the 25th meters. The lightest particle we're ever going to see in physics is the electron. The order of magnitude of the mass of the electron is what? Well, the mass of the electron is about 9 times 10 to the minus 31. Well, 9, that's kilograms. And 9 is pretty close to 10, so it's almost 10 times 10 to the 31st, which is really 10 to the, 10 to the negative 31st, so it's really 10 to the negative 30th. So negative 30th order here. Pretty tiny. The largest mass we know about is be the universe itself again. It has a mass of about 10 to the 50th, 50th kilograms. Time. In terms of time, the smallest time interval we might come across is the time it takes light to go across the nucleus of an atom. If we estimate this time, well, we know the distance. We just said it was about 10 to the minus 15th meters, and we know the speed of light. If we do a little velocity calculation there, distance, velocity, time, we find that that's about 10 to the minus 24th seconds. The longest time? Well, how about the age of the universe? If you know the Big Bang Theory, that's it's a funny show. In the, uh, the theme song, they say that it's about 14 billion years or old. And if you convert this to seconds, you go through those conversions from years down to seconds, you're going to find that it's about 10 to the 18th seconds. It's about somewhere in here, about 4.6 times 10 to the 17th seconds. 
So why do we do this? Well, we, you just need to have an idea of the range of some of these values. So the smallest size in the universe and largest size that we're going to talk about over this range, mass, this range, and time, and this range. There actually might be a question in IB where they ask you about these. So let's talk about a, a ratio. Let's, if here's a sample problem. If you were to ask to find the ratio of the diameter of a hydrogen atom to its nucleus. What would that be? See if you can work that out. If you want to try it, pause your video. Okay, well, ratio. So diameter of a hydrogen atom to its nucleus. So the atom is going to be bigger than the nucleus. So this should be some you know, large number, this ratio. Well, the hydrogen atom is 10 to the minus 10th meters across, approximately proton, right? 10 to the minus 15th. If we take that ratio, we get 10 to the 5th. You need to be able to estimate in IB physics. That's a very valuable skill. For example, let's see if we can estimate the mass of an apple, number of times a human heart beats in a lifetime, and how fast a cockroach, a cockroach can run. So if you want to try and do these and pause your video, do so now. Okay, so to the nearest order of magnitude. So the mass of an apple is I don't know, about a tenth of a kilogram. And the number of times a human heart beats in a lifetime, well, it's about 70 beats per minute. And the average age of a human is somewhere, I don't know, maybe 70. This will depend uh, on some assumptions. As long as you state some assumptions, it, you know, that's a valid estimation. So I did it, and I got about a billion, billion beats, heartbeats in a lifetime. And how fast can a cockroach run? Oh, we estimate about one meter per second. That's a very fast cockroach. Okay, there's your first screencast in IV Physics. Bye.